I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. I am. I believe I am. At least I'm going to keep saying I am. Even if I do have a dull day, it's still exciting because a dull day is better than a dangerous day. Anyway. So I wanted to talk to you about uh, a special gift I have. It actually, I don't tell too many people this, but a lot of people who know me know that I have a... My spiritual gift is dreams. Uh, I remember every single dream I have. And I control every dream that I have. Um, nightmares, apocalyptic, zombies, you know, fighting, anime type stuff. I Even a romantic or jealous type dreams. I control every dream I have. Funny thing is, when I cannot control a dream, I know that dream has information for me that that is transcends time and space. Like God is, is sending me a message, something I either need to work on or something that's coming my way or something's about to happen. If I can't control the things in that dream, I know that it's the Lord sending me a message. It's telling me something. That's how I know which dreams are prophetic and which are not. It's by the fact that I can't control them and they feel so, so real that I feel like I'm in another dimension. It's pretty exciting. Uh, a lot of uh, relatives visit me in my dreams. I don't tell too many people about them because what they tell me is specifically for me. Unless they direct the message to somebody else, then I'll talk to that person directly. But for the most part, most of the messages uh, are geared towards, you know, something I need to do or something something I need to tell somebody. But, uh, later on, I'll be able to express. I have to let... I have to wait for the the message to be uh, to pass time, I guess, in order for me to express to a person that this is something I dreamed about. Otherwise, I kind of I feel like I mess up any, anything if I try to if I deliver the message before I'm supposed to. It's funny because it's you know you think of dimensions as you know uh, not time aspected, but yeah, for most of my dreams, they are time expected. Expected, like whenever they happen, I I am giving a a frame, a time frame, in which things shall happen, and and what things are set into motion. And I'm not allowed to exactly speak on that because of how it could that the humanistic problem, the humanistic. Uh, involvement on there could mess it up that not that any of God's plans could ever be messed up all he does is just you know he'll pull something good at it. It, it it still works in his favor no matter what but I try to align my will up with his because his will is ultimate and it is guaranteeing you success because when you have him when he has your back you don't need no one or anybody else you know but yeah so I, I whenever I send a person a message about having a dream about them. Of course, the first thing they think about is sexual because we're a society geared towards a person can't think about another person without it being some type of sexual thing or some type of attraction. But there are some people who understand, they understand my gifts. So when I say I had a dream about you, they're automatically geared to listen because they know what they know. It's something that's very important. And no, it doesn't happen all the time. And I'm thankful for that because when I have those dreams, I I wake up crying. <laughs> I know it's weird. And I talk in my sleep. My wife hears a lot of the, the things that go on when those dreams happen. I, she she knows not to wake me up because I have to receive the entire message. But she knows when it gets too bad for me that I, there's, a, there's a part of it where I need to be. She needs to make sure I'm okay and it's not something that's, you know, torturing me. Because yeah, demonic dreams are some of the scariest, but I understand that those carry messages as well. You know, everything must work for the good of the Lord, even those type of dreams. But I've, I've been dealing with those quite healthily. Healthily. I just made that word, I guess. Healthily. Healthily? Helpfully. Forget it. Whatever. But yeah, so uh, if you got a spiritual gift, let me know. Uh... I'd like to hear about some of y'all's spiritual gifts. I have an uncle who interprets dreams. So when I have one of those dreams, I do go to him 
for the most part to, if I haven't interpreted myself or it's too deep for me to understand, I go to him to talk, my Uncle Rick. But I'd like to hear some of y'all gifts, y'all spiritual gifts that y'all are given. Uh, and have a great day.